Ben Horner for Norwich Boxing here with Craig Poxton. Just finished a session. Fight night is coming closer. Yeah, what well, we've got just under three weeks, haven't we? Yeah. So, um, is there any uh, news on opponent yet, or do we know what's happening with that side of things, or do you not know too much about it? Yeah, um, Dan Mill has been mentioned, Southport, it's a six rounder um, ahead of the fight next year. Um, but yeah, if things change, it's down to management and that, you know, I just train and do as I'm told, mate, you know what I mean? We touched on it a little bit with Matt when we done the sort of the announcement video. Last time round, you knew you had the fight with George Jack coming up, um, but you still had a bout prior to that. Yeah. This time round, the bout has been made in Norwich and then you're looking at another fight now been announced for yourself. How does, does that affect you? Looking forward to the, the about coming up, or you can't, you can, you can't let. It, do you know what I mean? Um, obviously, it's there. I know I've got the fight next year if everything goes right. So what that does is you can focus on this fight, thinking right, this is a potential banana skin. It's a good opponent. Opponent I've got is awkward. It's a six rounder. So focus fully on that. Do you know what I mean? And, yeah. and use that to push on. You can't, you can't think, oh, well, I'm fighting for this title, that title next year, and then just box half-hearted in three weeks' time. It doesn't work like that. You've got to, you've got to box well to move on, you know? Um, coming into the gym, for this camp especially, Ryan Walsh has sort of walked through the door of a British title. And yeah. we all know you spar many rounds of him. We've got multiple videos being posted out. And, um, how does that benefit your camp being in there? Even more so now, not only just sort of where you were sparring with Ryan Walsh, who is probably one of the best in the country, you're now sparring with Ryan Walsh, who is the best in the country at the way. How do, does that make a difference to your camp? Well, yeah, having, um, it's having the benefit of sparring somebody like Ryan, do you know what I mean? Um, he's awkward, he switches, he's strong, he's, he's really strong. But the thing is, regardless of whether he had the title or not, is that level and box I've always said boxing's about levels. So if you can get in there and spar with somebody that's the next level, you've got to be on your toes, you've got to be thinking all the time, do you know what I mean? So it's good, it's brilliant. You you get you get people come down to the gym now and spar with you from outside of the area as well. So all round your sparring is just sort of growing. Yeah, that's been really Graham's always got lads in from London, Ipswich. To be honest, I don't know where a lot of them come from, but all over the country, whether it be Northern as he gets down, or from Scotland, London, wherever, you know. It's, it's, Norwich is well known, especially at Kickstop and Graham, he's been in Boba Box a long time, so he's always had a mixture of sparring. You sort of um, come down here for your sparring, but you, you're tucked away in lower stuff from Matt Smith for Ultimate Boxing. Do you feel that benefits you that you can sort of go away, you both sit down together and work through things to then come into the gym? You know once a week you're always going to be coming into that gym and using, utilising what you've learned during the week? Or Yeah, I know what you're saying. Um, to be honest, I work well with Matt. We're obviously, we're in the van on as well, periods like that. Right. The thing is, each week we work on something different. Rather than just being, right, go in there, hands up and just do the best you can. It's not, but sparring and training isn't about that. It's going there, right, this week, you bit of snap, try and hold your feet, step round, roll round. And that's what we do, aren't we? And Matt's like, right, we've been trying this in the gym, just work on it here. But then again, if I were up here, I'm in touch with Graham a lot anyway, so he rings me up and he'll talk to me as well. So it, it do not really make too much difference, if you know what I mean. So, you're in training, camp, it's coming to an end as such. I mean, yeah. the hard work has come, come close to the end. What can people expect to see this time round? Last time you sort of, it was your return fight. This time, what can we expect to see in that ring? To be honest, <laughs> I just go in there and, and box, you know. Um, I don't go in there to try and take nobody out. Um, I just I, I just like to box nights. And there's no better feeling when you've won a fight to somebody say, you look really good in there tonight, you look composed. And that's what I try and do, I just try and stay, stay calm, not waste too much, box nice and neat and uh, progress each fight. So. Looking past this one, like I say, I don't want to touch on it too much, but you have got an English title shot coming up um, in the new year. 
if you had, if you had a message to pass on to your opponent, um, he's got a bout coming up similar to yourself. Yeah. So, if you had a message to pass on to him, what would you pass on at this point? I know what you try to do, a bit of building up, a bit of bad mouth. Listen, I'm not one for all that. Andy Townend is from Barnsley. We know a lot of the same people and I'm not one to bad mouth anybody. It'll come down to the night when we fight each other. He's going on his path, he's got a fight, I've got a fight. Just let it go like that. All best and I'll, I'll see you come next year, mate. And uh, to finish this, um, I spoke to Billy Bird, sort of another stone mate your own, the other day. and um, These face masks that he's now using, you using. You boxers, do you like to go out and have a bit of a um, pamper session after your training? Or? <laughs> First, I thought you meant the head guys. Um, to be honest, if you go, your girlfriend Jennifer, she'd try to sell them. Um, I work on a building site, as you know, and uh, it was just one of them things when the girlfriend's got one, she's like, oh, can I put it on you? It's like having a little child, you know? <laughs> you get your nails done, you get your hair done. But there we go, look. So, so, so Billy Boy Bird, Craig Parks, they're, they're, all, they're all getting on it now. So, um, Cheers, Ben. When, when you go down to your local spa, you'll run into these boxes down there, you know, having their pamper sessions. But no, all, all jokes aside, best of luck for... Um, Friday the 20th of November and then even more so sort of next year but we'll catch up before that and then um, we'll uh, sort something out for English title Craig Boxton. Okay. Thank you. Thanks Craig. a lot.